excited. We're all ready. Before I even get a chance to invite you in, we're already opening up the door. I think that is awesome. Awesome because we're so excited. Thank you so much. We want to just begin this call with thanking uh, Alicia. I believe it's Alicia that has been hosting the call just so eloquently, and I just want to say thank you from the Tim family for doing that. And I want to welcome everyone to the call this morning. We have something exciting to talk about for sure, let alone just because we have the sprays and we have Flynn by Tim. There is something that's brewing in the air. So come on, family. Shout it out this morning. Who is opening up the door? Give me your names and where you're from. I can't breathe. I didn't sleep last night. I know, I know, I know. Executive family member. Oh my God. God is good. God is awesome. God is Yes, he is. Yes, I know this is Maureen Murphy Smith. Good morning, good morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Good morning, Sheila. Top of the morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh, who else is doing this? Oh, I can't even hear. Who else is doing this? DC, yes. Woo! In my house. Come on, family. Who else opened up the door? Come on, morning. This is Maria from Santa Maria, California. All right, Miss Maria from California. California is in the house this morning. Who else is with us? Akisha, Berkeley, California. Akisha, wow, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you've been doing this week. You are just phenomenal. I love oh my gosh. <laughs> Maureen, are you kidding me? It was an absolute pleasure. And I just love, love, love your enthusiasm. Oh, my gosh. You get me all jazzed up all over again. Woo! <laughs> I am so happy about that, girl. Because Top of the morning to you. Uh, thank yes. you. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Who else is with us this morning? Come on, family. Let me oh, hear Jackson your voice. I'm Oh, oh, my Lady goodness, Dad. Bob Jackson, it's good to hear your voice, yes, yes, it's good to hear you, look forward to seeing you soon, who oh, else is in the house? Michael McClay from Brookdale, Iowa. Oh, Michael McClay! Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. The two potential, oh, three potential candidates. Vicky Soto oh, from God. Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, Soto is in the house. No, I Vicky oh, you guys got so much energy this morning. You guys are so excited this morning. I can't even hear half the things you're saying. Where are you on, Nina? Are you in? You like? Good morning. Good morning. Guys, just kind of in. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, family. Go ahead. Keep shouting it out. Who else is in the house? Yeah, I'm going to get more of a pair of socks. I'm going to work. Hello. Amen. Hello. 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 I am the conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. We are so enthusiastic this morning that it's just so hard to, to hear your names and understand what you're saying, but I love the energy. As Akisha said, the energy on the phone is just causing us to be so much more excited than we already are. We already are. So I'm going to give you one last time for those that didn't get a chance to say anything. Uh-oh. My husband said it's too late. Too late. Well, welcome to the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. Family, we have an exciting morning. Of course, as you know, you're hearing and listening to Pastor Wafer. This is his call this morning. He is too excited, so I know I can't take much of his time this morning. But I just want to thank you. I'm looking so forward to seeing everybody soon. 
and I want to go ahead and introduce my husband to the land of the living. Hallelujah. Thanking God for that, but I want to introduce him as the founding member, pastor, doctor, now to start to the house. Pastor Wafer, you want to explain to us how you received two stars? Well, hey, thanks, honey, for uh, that great introduction and getting the call started off right. As uh, Keisha said, it's a uh, uh, great excitement on the call, and uh, we're going to get this call going really, really uh, today. we got a great, great uh, guest uh, coming on to speak, but before I do that, I want to reach out over there to Kentucky and uh, bring in my friend and partner, uh, <clears throat> that's founding member, Miss uh, Vicki Soto. Vicki, are you with me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. Oh, my gosh, what a hot call. This call is fired up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, <laughs> I tell you, I wanted to bring in Vicki on the call because, uh, you know, the call that we had last night, with uh, Mel Gill giving the update for 10 was phenomenal. I mean, it, it was just phenomenal. I'm, I'm so sorry that, you know, it, it wasn't advertised uh, as it should have been because a lot of people missed the call. Uh, but, uh, but we still, you know, we had a lot of people on the call, and, uh, and, and the word started getting out <clears throat> as we began to text message, hey, get on the call, get on the call. But, uh, you know, the call was just phenomenal. You know, nobody knew what to expect uh, uh, from the call. We didn't even know who was doing the call. We didn't know if Robert was doing the call or Mel was doing the call. We had no idea who was going to do the call until Mel jumped on and said, I'm taking over the call. <laughs> and uh, when he jumped on and said, I'm taking over the call, let me tell you, he took over the call. I yeah. mean, he yeah. literally changed the conversation. plan. He gave away so much money last night. <laughs> Vicky, I know you. I know you only caught part of it, but uh, you had to be excited about the part you caught. I mean, the part I caught, Pastor Joe. I got to tell you, the part that I caught almost made me fall off the chair. It was so funny because we had a storm here, okay, and I couldn't get the service to work. When I finally did find out about the call, I couldn't get my service to work here. I had to run down to another area try and get the phone call. And then I was sitting, I was, I was literally sitting in a chair at a, at a coffee shop at that point, trying to hear it. And when he said a thousand dollars, I almost fell off the chair. <laughs> so people were looking at me like, what's wrong with her? Because here I am trying to control myself. And at the same time, everybody started calling. The people that heard about it, they heard what he said. Uh, and some of them didn't even know what he said. They just knew that um, Mel was more excited than we had ever heard him before. So That's they were right. calling me. They were texting me. Everybody was going, what happened? What happened? I didn't hear this part. I didn't hear that part. I was texting uh, Pastor Denise. She was texting me back. She said, Vicki, you were one star. Then I got I, I got a call from several people saying, are you a one star? Then I, <laughs> then I got a call from, you know, my dad and a few other people. I mean, it was just a crazy night. And you're right. None of us got any sleep. And what was really <laughs> cool, you know, a lot of people rank events, but even better is a lot of people saw their first big check or maybe their first check ever. I mean, it was so much volume that ran through this week. Uh, it was crazy. It was. Crazy. It was. It was. You, and when you look at it, I mean, he took now for people for, for, for those of you who know who are new our our, our guests to just kind of explain real quickly uh you know we have different levels in our company, and one of them is a one star and one star the typical qualification you had to have two thousand dollars in one check in one week to to become a two star uh, a one star he dropped that qualification down from two thousand in one week to one thousand in one week. 1,000 in one week, you're now a one star. With a one star, you get a Tiffany lapel uh, pin. Okay, so you know, you know, I mean, that alone dropping it a thousand dollars to get you into the one star uh, uh, category is, is amazing. But then he did the same thing with the two star. Two star was five thousand, 
dropped it down to a two thousand dollar benchmark, and and uh, when you qualify for two star, you then get a trip to World Disney or Disney World for a trip for four. Or if you're on the California uh, side of things, you get a trip to Disneyland there in Southern California. So, I mean, that was just a huge benefit as well. As well. He dropped the qualifications for five star, which was ten thousand in one week, down to five thousand. And so not, not only is it a 5,000 benchmark, but now you also get a trip uh, to the Ritz-Carlton in Laguna de Miguel. And let me tell you, that is a fabulous place. I've been there. It's a beautiful place right on the ocean. You'll love it. You'll love it. He went on to drop the 10-star $25,000 uh, benchmark down to $10,000. Uh, once you hit $10,000 in one week. Now, you guys know we had a multiple-week qualification for 10-star. Now, in one week, if you hit $10,000, you're a 10-star. And then he added a new star, which was the platinum star. <clears throat> and then that platinum star is when you hit $25,000 in one week, you become a platinum star. And let me tell you, that changes the whole game, especially uh, with the <clears throat> upgrades for this past week commission, I mean, the volume that is in the organization for week 14 uh, is amazing. There's going to be one stars, two stars, five stars. Uh, you know, Memo uh, talked about the, uh, 280 people that they already got signed yeah. up, uh, upgraded. I mean, if, if, that, if that's positioned right in his organization, he's a 10-star, no question. I mean, he's yeah. already there. He's a five-star. But he literally could be a 10-star if – you know, if the legs are balanced right in, in with those numbers. So he could be our first 10-star to come out of this thing. And uh, and they've been working very hard. So it's, it is phenomenal. That call was just amazing. And I just wanted to kind of give an overview of it. We could talk all night, all day about that call. <laughs> because it was just, it changed the game. When you change the compensation plan, to make it better for your distributors. Let me tell you, that doesn't happen, guys. Typically, yeah. when people, when companies change the, time, the compensation plan, it's for the company. It ain't for the people. I mean, this was for us. This yeah. was to benefit the field. And, uh, you know, the company doesn't win here as far as, as far as how much they're going to benefit from it. They win from the branding. We want a brand. We want to get the $50 million. And if we need to give rewards and incentives to the field to get it done, they're willing to do it. So I'm telling you, this is going to be a fantastic 2015, guys. Why don't you just go ahead and say some stuff and wrap it up because we got to go to our guest speaker. But uh, okay. give us uh, your last words, Jimmy. Well, i got to say this one thing. You know, this morning, well, first of all, the first person to congratulate me was a gentleman that just came into my business, and he had no idea what a one-star was. But it was kind of funny. He was like, I don't know what. I'm congratulating you for, but congratulations. <laughs> and, and I said, man, just trust me. It is the best thing ever. But let me just say that the people that have been calling me have said all said the same thing. I have never seen a CEO so excited to give away money. <laughs> I mean, he was, I got to tell you, Mel, if you listen to this call, we love you. I'm going to tell you, I listen to, at uh, the end of the call, I, I've been trying to listen to it all morning, but everybody's been calling me. So I've listened to your part several times uh, near the end, and I've heard every single time the excitement in your voice. This is why we love you, because you and Amy and, and Sam are so, you're so ready to make things wonderful, make, make our lifestyles change, to change our lives. So we just want to say we appreciate it, and congratulations to all of the people who rank advanced, all of the people who made big checks, all of the people that made their first check, and all of the people who now see a way to get, you know, more money into their life. And whew, what a night, what a night. So that's all I got to say. Uh, congratulations, team. Uh, we love you, Mel and Amy. And uh, thank you, Pastor Dell, for letting me speak. <laughs> Yeah, great, great. You know, I, I texted Mel and Amy last night while he was still on the call, and I was like, man, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Man, you guys are great, man. <laughs> I mean, who does this, man? I'm just thinking, man, look at all, look at this money he's putting on the table. I mean, uh, you know, absolutely right. You know, you got a CEO and, and a co-founder uh, who are vested 
in making sure we win, making sure we're successful. And how can you not appreciate that? Uh, thank you, Vicky Soto. Uh, one star, Vicky Soto. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for uh, <laughs> coming on the call and just sharing your heart and sharing your, your thoughts about last night call. We're going to move over uh, and go over to uh, across the big pond uh, to the U.K. Uh, Dr. Anita Poole has a great testimony uh, on, uh, of, of how the product has uh, uh, affected her aunt, and uh, we want to get them on the call uh, this morning. So, uh, Dr. Anita, are you with us? I am here. Can you hear me okay, Dale? We can hear you. We can hear you. What did you say about that news from last night? Oh, my goodness. What a hot call. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And, you know, I, I and this is the thing about a worldwide opportunity. You know, here I am in the U.K. I opened up my back office and... My goodness, I thought, wow, that volume has shot up because of all the people in America, basically, you know. So <laughs> this is just absolutely incredible. And, and of course, all these announcements that Mel um, makes, you know, virtually we are getting almost on a daily basis something new happening. And, of course, the combination of the new marketing and all these incentives plus the new products, et cetera, and the huge demand we have because these products are needed and wanted. And the healthcare systems around the world, they're under strain. You know, I've given lots of statistics before about what's happening in the world. You know, the huge obesity problem, the huge inflammation problem, uh, the huge disorders, the huge stress, the decreased lifestyle. We need these products around the world. And, of course, the income opportunity is just icing on the cake. So absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Melanie, Amy. This is benefiting absolutely everyone. So, uh, Dale, do you want me to, to get stuck in and just see if my aunt is on the call? So we uh, Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, I would very much like to introduce my wonderful aunt. Let me first check that she is on. Prim, can you hear me okay? Okay. Prim, are you on the call? Dale, if you'd like to just take over, and I'll just uh, see if I can call her on the mobile and see what's happened. Maybe she's just muted out. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, and uh, and we'll we'll continue. But Dave, I know you 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 were really excited about the call last night as well. And uh, what's uh, what's on your heart? What, what what were you saying? What were you thinking? You were running around the house, jumping and shouting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? What were you hearing? Look, I don't have the words. Just thinking about in the past uh, month what we have, what you have gone through. And then to come out and see how God has allowed you to be graduated. And it's like, Lord, you know, you kept him for such a time as this. I mean, what an awesome blessing, you know, from the Lord, you know, to know that you have gone from one star to two star, just like that. And you were so excited. We were high-fiving all over the place. And just just being so thankful for our family and being so thankful for what God is doing in them, their lives, and allowing them also to be graduated. I mean, this is such an exciting time, family, and I'm enjoying it. I'm taking it, running with it. Our word is unstoppable, unstoppable. We serve an unstoppable God, and we are just basking in his presence. So, honey... Thank you for allowing me to share that. Well, I tell you, and Nita, you can jump back in here whenever you're back on the call. Uh, but, you know, you're absolutely right when you think about this is what we're, we're, we're sharing with so many people when we were getting, uh, you know, uh, lining things up to get people to upgrade during that week uh, is that, you know, we didn't know this was coming down the pike, but we were just saying, guys, get it, get people in, get your upgrades going. And people have worked for uh, – feverishly to get this done. I mean, I think about 
you know, as like Vicky, uh, Vicky said earlier, the people that have been working really, really hard <clears throat> in our organization, uh, the Denise Moores and the, you know, uh, 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 Stephen Allens and all these guys, Dwight, uh, all of these guys are just really, you know, they, everybody's working really diligently, really hard, getting the volume up, uh, with no idea that Mel was going to make this announcement of the changes. He just really changed the game. Me and Mr. T was talking last night and was like, wow, he just changed the game, you know, uh, and he really did. And so when you think about the hard work that's gone in uh, to people upgrading and sponsoring new people, uh, as, as, as uh, Anita said, the volume has just blown up. I mean, it's just, just blown up in the organization. And, uh, and, and the great thing about it is there's going to be people who are going to be getting checks for the first time. There's going to be people who are going to be getting big checks uh, for the first time. There's going to be people who are going to be rank and dancing you know, to one star, two star, five star, maybe even ten star, you know, after the way these numbers are going. Uh, but more than that is just everybody benefits because, uh, you know, think about you may not be ranking, rank advancing, but you know what happens because of the volume that goes into the organization is that that volume is banked in your organization. And so now you have a, a better opportunity as you work the weak side of your business with the with the with the with the strong side of your business uh, having the bank with thousands of dollars in it, it's just like going to the ATM when you work that weak side of your business and you start cycling that money out. Not only that, you know this doesn't have to be the only time that we bring masses of people into the organization in one week in order to get the volume. You know we're working on the strategy right now to do this again for the people who couldn't upgrade this week but who want to upgrade, working on another strategy to get them all to upgrade at the same time again so that they can do this again. So this doesn't have to be a one-time deal. Uh, this can go on and on, and it will really work even better if you already have bank volume on one side of your organization and you start bringing multiples of people throughout your organization on the other side. So this is a great, great uh, day to be a part of Team Effort International and Team Effort Network because we really have seen some major changes. Uh, Anita, are you back? Okay. We have seen some major changes in, uh, in the rollout of this new product, you know, with all of the, the focus and the goal of $50 million over the next 18 months. Now, Mel said something really, really powerful last night. Uh, I didn't know he could play basketball. <laughs> we, may have to, we may have to take him up on a pickup game one day. But uh, uh, he was talking about, you know, what it means to have a full-court press and to be in paint. And, uh, and, and they're focused on that $50 million goal. And so they understand what it means you know, uh, to be behind the three-point line, within the three-point line, in the paint, you know, the four, full court, court press. They understand what it means, you know, from that standpoint to be about your goals and reaching your goals. And to have a CEO uh, and co-founder who are focused on that goal of $50 million, man, that means there's going to be a lot of things, guys, that's going to be rolling out. Uh, over the next, you know, six, seven months, you know, to make sure that we hit that goal from our marketing, from advertisement, uh, brochures and, and, and product and testimonies and all kinds of things. Uh, more promotion. Let me tell you, one thing I know about Mel and Amy, they love promotions. <laughs> and, you know, every 90 days, you know, we used to have a promotion about something. And, and that stuff is coming back because they are all about incentivizing the field in order to get the field to be able uh, to do what they're doing. So, you know, our goal is to make 2015 your best year yet. Uh, we're determined that 2015 is going to be our best year yet. And let me tell you, it has started out really, really well. You know, one night you wake up, you're one star. The next day you wake up, you're two star. You know, that's a great, great feeling to have. And uh, we're looking for some great, great stuff to happen. Anita, have you made it back? Kevin Bond, one star Kevin Bond. Are you with us? Congratulations, Pastor. Uh, oh, can, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Pastor? I, I, I can hear you, Bob. Wow. I can hear you. 
incredible, hey. man. Congratulations. I tell you, one thing I was thinking about, guys out there, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening all around the globe. I tell you, man, Mel mentioned it in the last event in Las Vegas. He says, get checks into the team's hand and the momentum would push. And who better to, to do that than Mel and Amy and, of course, Mr. Gill. That's what I love about this business, Pastor Denise, Pastor Nell. Everybody on the call today, and First Lady, welcome, welcome. And also, Keisha, everybody, Vicky Soto, everybody. Congratulations, Vicky Soto, on uh, one star. But I'm excited about what Mel released uh, on the, d- during our event, guys. But he said it. Get the checks into the team's hand, and momentum will push. And that's exactly what happened. But I'm excited, Pastor Dale, because Mel is the owner of the company. Him and Amy own the company, so they can do whatever they want. They don't have to check with the board of directors. They don't have to check. Right. They want you mentioned it already. They want you to win, and that is so exciting when you think about it. Mr. Gill and Mel. Amy want you to win, and guess what? They are going to do whatever is proper to do to make this business one of the top businesses in the world. And we're on our way, guys. I am so elated, and almost fell out. And I was so excited. Almost fell out. I was so excited. I'm still talking right now. So just <laughs> excited about what's going on, and we just excited man what god is doing too as well in everybody's life but congratulations to my team uh my team partners guys you guys are amazing i am not surprised pastor dale because it's designed to do just what is happening it's designed to that all we have to do is share 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 and guess what stay excited as well pastor as you know we've got to stay excited because that excitement is going to go all across the world people are going to be attracted to you now people can show some checks, maybe, you know, to people. I'm going to guarantee when you show those checks or, or, or what happened to those, your businesses in the past couple of days, people are going to say, what do I got to do to sign up? And that's going to blow that's the volume right. up another <laughs> 10 times. That's incredible. That's... So I'm excited about what's happening and what's going to happen. But guess what, Pastor? The best is still yet to come. Back to you, my friend. That's incredible. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to go back out to uh, the U.K. Anita, have you made it back to the call? Need a food? I thought she just, uh, hold on, guys. Let me see if she made it back here. Well, Pastor Bell, I just want to say, I hope that everybody looks in their back Hello, office. Hello, Dale, can you hear me? Yes, Anita, I can hear you. Lovely. Dale, can you hear us? Yes, we can hear you now. We can hear you now. Vicki, we'll come right back. Lovely, lovely. Okay, we've had just a few issues about the the muting in and muting out between Prem and myself, but I have her three weighed in. Uh, What an extremely exciting call, Prem. You must be thinking, my goodness me, what is happening here? (laughs) (laughs) I can see your your company's doing very, very well. (laughs) So I know you are all so happy and elated, and I know listen to the whole conversation and uh so i am really pleased about it but uh i i should i introduce myself well uh, basically I'll, I'll just do a quick introduction and uh basically uh, my aunt prem uh is is actually an absolutely fantastic lady she she's got a heart of gold um she she is just a absolutely wonderful person extremely authentic extremely kind she went through a very very stressful time around about three years ago in fact they say in life stresses losing your child and obviously you know for all of us mums our child even when they're in their 30s 40s etc it's still our child losing your child is one of the biggest stresses to ever undergo through life and that's what happened to my aunt three years ago her son had a heart operation for a defect in his heart he was doing extremely well he was out of hospital all on the mend and then suddenly his heart gave up and he died very suddenly and with that stress she was previously very well but she developed sinusitis. Sinusitis is an inflammation in your sinuses. You have sinuses basically around your nose, behind your cheekbone, behind your forehead. And although she had some medications from her doctor, 
they, she didn't get on very well with the medications. Uh, she'll tell you more, uh, you know, the effect, etc. And she struggled with the sinusitis for three years. Graham will tell you the story of what happened when she phoned me up about the sprays and took the sprays. Prem, over to you. Thank you. <laughs> if you'd like Thank to you tell us a little much. bit about it. Thank you, Anita. Yes, um, I, I read about uh, the sprays on Facebook because uh, Anita and I are on Facebook together and I noticed all her sprays on it. And uh, I, I phoned her up and said, look, is there something that could help me with my sinusitis? And she said, definitely, yes, we have something. We have some sprays. I could recommend them to you. And I was so eager to get them from her. And I just didn't want to wait. I just said, just send it to me. I want to get started with it. And she sent me the four different ones. Um, it's the power, Anita. Yes, absolutely. The power, the Prem. boost. Yep, boost. Prem is taking the D power, which is the vitamin D3 and E. She's yep. taking the B boost, boost with the B vitamins. She's taking the Super 10, Super 10. with the anti-inflammatory super berries, uh, minerals. And she's taking the cell energy with the high antioxidants. Back yes. to you, Yes, Graham. so I, I got these from her. She sent it to me immediately without wasting any time because she knew I was so much in a hurry for them. And uh, I started them, and as per instructions, I did whatever was written on the directions, and I did them very regularly. And you would not believe that within a week I could see the difference. I could feel that I was not having any headache. My sinuses were feeling much, much better and, and things were getting much better for me. I was so happy and I phoned Anita. I said, Anita, this medication is just simply wonderful. But what was happening, it was just that I couldn't do, do it so many times a day so what I do now, I do it twice a day. I do eight sprays at one time and eight sprays another time, before lunch and before dinner. So that's how I'm doing it at the moment. And it has actually resolved my problem. I am just, I just sometimes think, did I have sinusitis? It doesn't look like I had it because it seems to have just all vanished. But I am without fail still taking the medication because I think it was a real boon to me and it was really, really one of the best things I could have taken because I really struggled for three years. I, I really struggled with headaches and going to the chemist and buying things over the counter, keep trying different things and nothing seemed to have helped. But this was uh, just like a blessing in disguise. That is fantastic, Prem. You can hear, folks, how relieved Prem is. And uh, just to explain some of the things that she's mentioned there, you know, sinusitis can give terrible headaches, basically, yes. because, um, you know, the, the, the sinuses, they get inflamed. They're, they're sort of the hollow sections within the bone. And they get inflamed, and there's nowhere for the pressure to go when when they get inflamed. And there's many different causes to inflammation. It can be a virus. It can be um, bacterial infections. It can be just literally stress, the toxins that build up with stress. It can be pollutants. Um, it can be allergies. It can be all sorts of different things. Usually, sinusitis, sometimes, if it's due to bacteria, it can clear up with one course of antibiotics. However, Prem found that everything the doctor was giving her, Did nothing not worked. In yes. fact, she had side effects with, with the things that she was taking, and she had to come off everything except these terrible headaches and the constant congestion that was constantly uh, you know, in her upper cavities um, and trickling down the back of her throat. It was there irritating all of the time for three years. In fact, the pain was so severe with the headaches, 
I was shocked when she told me what she was on. She was on things like tramadol for the pain. Now, tramadol is an opiate. It is something that you should not be taking regularly for a long time. However, there are people around the world taking these opiate type of medications because the doctors find that they've got no alternative. These, pa these patients are constantly asking for things because they're in such severe pain. Now, my aunt is pretty, uh, you know, she's, she's got a very strong willpower. She's worked all her life. She's still, you know, even though she's retired now, she does a lot of voluntary work for other people. So she doesn't let anything hold her back. But can you imagine if a patient like that is taking tramadol because the headaches are so severe, and then that person, having struggled with this for three years and found nothing works, rings me up after one week taking the sprays regularly and is absolutely over the moon and says, I can't believe it. It's almost as though I never had this illness. It's all gone. I just cannot believe what these sprays have done for me. And you can hear what she's done is even though it cleared up within one week, which is absolutely incredible, she's actually c continuing it at a lower dose, she's actually taking half the dose now because the eight spray she mentioned is across all four sprays. She's taking half the dose um, just as a maintenance dose to make sure that it doesn't come back. And she's going to do that for a, you know, a period of two months. In fact, she was so excited about the sprays and what she'd seen me posting on Facebook. When she first rang me up to get some and I said, well, you can try this and you could try that. She said, just send me all of it. I want two months supply. Just send it to me as soon as possible. I know it's going to work because I've seen what you've been posting on Facebook. So, you know, folks, get the word out to everyone. You don't know who you can help, whether it's your friends, whether it's your family, whether it's your business contacts. Um, and people that you've not spoken to before, make sure you go out there speaking to them. You know, we've got a huge problem around the world. You know, healthcare is a political football. So people are struggling everywhere in the world. Here in the UK, actually, I have a massive market. Accident emergencies are actually turning people away. Um, GP surgeries, um, you know, they're, they're even stopping booking appointments in advance. There's going to be big shakeups of privatization. Um, we've got huge waiting lists. We have um, uh, literally surgery uh, operations being canceled after the winter crisis. Uh, literally in the winter, there were a third of the hospitals without a spare bed. In fact, the headlines are, the health care system is a system that needs a cure. Now, here we have a lady on the line who three years she struggled with the medical uh, profession. And I'm a medic, so, you know, I say that uh, heartily. She struggled with the medical profession. And here, with natural substances, she's used the word medication. What she means is natural medication. Yeah. Yeah. With natural substances within one week she's better and she's able to lead her life properly now so wow. absolutely fantastic thank you so much for your uh for your testimonial prem it's been wonderful to hear you back to you dale thank you so much anita oh wow great prem great testimony uh just an amazing uh hey, more and more we're hearing testimonies about how this great product uh is impacting people's lives and so we're really excited about what that what the, what that is doing in everyone's life. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being on the call and sharing your story. Uh, we're gonna wrap this call up. We're gonna go out to uh, Atlanta. KV, you got some quotes for us, man? Absolutely, sir. How you doing? Can you hear me okay, Pat? I was on mute for a few minutes. What a great call today. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. That's great, great. Anita Poole and your aunt. Oh, man, what an incredible testimony. That's what it's all about, guys. That is what it's all about. I don't, no matter what part of the planet folks need the sprays, they need the trim by 10, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make sure everybody we know that we ever meet will actually get a chance to see these wonderful products and, of course, meet these wonderful people on the call. And guess what? You're also going to meet Melanie McGill and Mr. Gill one day as well, guys. We've got to continue to do it. As uh, Amy always talks about, share, 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 
continue to invite, invite, invite. Have TTPs, guys. Atlanta has TTP this Saturday, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to just encourage everybody to go to the uh, global uh, uh, calendar network for 10. That is uh, win with 10. That's win with 10.com forward slash calendar. That's win with 10. Dot com, that's T-E-N, win with 10.com forward slash calendar for the events all across the country that are uh, approved by the company, guys. So please share that with everybody on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Get it out to your email accounts. Just keep uh, inviting people to look at the program, guys. We've got three or four doctors in Atlanta looking at the program now. We're setting up appointments with them to do with them presentations. I'm going to tell you guys, we're just going to say what i got to do to get started because the markets are all open. They're all open, guys, all across the world. Hey, real quickly, it's some quick I'm, – I'm getting excited about these quotes today, guys. This just kind of goes along with what Mel and Amy Gill and Mr. Gill are all about and also, too, that Pastor Dale and Pastor Denise are all about, first of all. Uh, Diane and everybody that believes in what a wonderful company. Our first quote, guys, real quickly, is from Sir Edmund Hillary. He says, effective organizations, that's us, effective organizations must be forward-thinking. Man, that's Mel and Amy right there. They must always have their purpose. That's Mel and Amy again. Their goals, that's Mel and Amy. And their future firmly in sight. That's Mel and Amy Gill. Guys, they've been laying it down for the past couple of weeks and more about where we're going, guys, be a part of this wonderful organization called 10. Our corporate is called Team Effort International. Guys, we are going to take over the planet. Our next and last quote of the day, guys, is from Healthy Thoughts, from the Healthy Thought Network. It says, starting today, I need to forget what is gone, right? No matter what happened five seconds ago, if we keep moving, uh, uh, appreciate what still remains and look uh, forward to, to what now. is coming next. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys, there is no stopping us now. And the best is yet to come. Back to you, Pastor Dale. Boy, I'm excited about this business. Woo! Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Back to you. Thank you, Kevin Vaughn, Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us on the call. I want to give a shout-out to my my uh, co, uh, uh, co-laborer co and my partner in crime, Pastor Denise McDowell. Well, she's not on the call. She's in training. But uh, I'm going to congratulate her on becoming two star as well. She'll be back with us next week. Uh, She's away in training this week, and and, uh, we're so excited to be able to uh, host and give her some coverage. And uh, thank you for all of you guys who've come on to help us with this week's call. Tomorrow's going to be an exciting call as well. Looking forward for you guys being back with us. It's time to build your business. Yes. Yes, this sir. is the time. This yes, is the sir. place. This is the company. Yes. yes. If you believe you can, you can. Let's go out and do it. let's make it happen. This call is officially over. Remember, Thank we're you unstoppable. Woo-hoo! You got that right. That's right. Ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations, all the new stars. Oh, congratulations. 